All right, today we got the Lutz family. We got Jane and Alina and Jeff. And what we're gonna do is the lateral dynamic stability and range of motion test ended with the uh, physical endurance test. So we're gonna start with Jaden. Jaden has the Vox technology on, so he has that neural spot. So we're gonna test with it, take it off, and then do the insole. So we're gonna test the socks first. So Jeff, go under. So Jaden, back straight, arms straight, lift up. You can notice pretty good balance. They're not moving at all. So, so do it one more time. Let's come up lightly. He's got the socks on, so he's locked in. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him take him off. Now what's going to happen is he's going to put his feet down. We're going to do the exact same test, and you're going to know how he instantly loses that neural response. And there goes his balance. So then what we're going to do, we're going to put him back on the tech now. So now he's on the insoles, the neural insoles. And we're going to show how instantly that neural response comes back. He should have better stability. And there we go. We're not moving again. So now we're going to do Alina. We're going to have her stand, feet shoulder width. We're going to test her balance. One, two, three. We're going to do it one more time. Don't worry, it's going to get better. One, two, three. Now we're going to have her stand on the technology. Feet in the front. One, two, three. Obviously much better. Now we're gonna have her stand back off. Take the insoles away and see how that balance goes away. One, two, three. And that's the lateral stability test. All right, now we're gonna test dynamic stability. So we've got James gonna go first, feet together. Arms tight, straight down. See how he came forward, do it one more time. Come forward. Now he's, got, now he's got the neural tech, the response. You should notice better stability on his knee. Not moving. Take it away. Tech gone. And you see how he came forward. Now what we're going to do for him is we're going to test one more thing. We're going to have him wear the neural patch now. We're going to put it on his forearm. So, feet together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push straight down. One, two, three. And much better stability. So that's dynamic. Melina. We're going to have her come on. Do the same thing, feet together. Hands tight. We're straight down. See how the lean comes? Do it one more time. Straight down. Now we're going to have her stand on the tech. Hands together, tight. Much better stability. Off. Do it again. Should instantly lose it. One, two, three. Now we're going to do we're going to do the patch with her too. So again, that's the narrow patch. Now she's got that balance again, dynamic. Balls together. One, two, three. Not going to move her. And that's the dynamic stability test. All right, now we're gonna test range of motion with both of them. So we're gonna have Alina go first. So go, go feet shoulder width. Oh. Yeah. So what we're gonna have her do, she's gonna stretch out a little bit, then she's gonna put her arms out like a T, and then she's gonna come back, range of motion, either way you wanna start. Go back there, Jeff, go there, mark her middle finger. So she's marking her middle finger, come back this way as far as you can, this way. Right there, now put the insoles on. Now, whatever you want to go. And back the other way. So how far over there? All right, so this further in range of motion, that further in range of motion. So instantly that narrow response gave her about 10 to 20 degrees more range of motion. Oh, 
stretch out a little bit. So we're going to have him do the same thing. Come back as far as you can this way. That's right, that's fine. Mark it, middle finger. There you go. I'll come back the other way. Middle finger. Now I'll we'll go back to the front, put the insoles on. Now we're going to step in the same spot and then come back both ways again. A little bit that way. A little bit that way. Instantly more range of motion. All right, now we're going to do dad. We're going to do lateral stability, range of motion, and dynamic stability. So the first one, we're going to have his lateral stability, hands tight, make a fist, resist, one, two, three. Let's see how he comes up. Now this is a former quarterback here. One, two, three, come up. Now we're going to put the insoles on. You should notice much better stability if you're in front. One, two, three. Not moving, back off. On. One, two, three. Instantly loses that. Now flip to the side. Now we're going to do dynamic. Feet together. Hands tight. Come straight down. One, two, three. Keep this hands tight as you can. One, two, three. On attack. Now you should see that neuro response. One, two, three. Back off. Come on. Hands together. One, two, three. Came forward. So the last one, we're gonna do range of motion. What you have to do is stand there, put your hands out, and you should be marking. Just stretch a little bit. Okay, no more swimming kids. <laughs> now go back that way. Now yeah, mark that. Mark the middle finger. Okay, now go back the other way. Mark the middle finger. Now with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to patch him. Instead of insoles, we're going to go patch here. So they got him marked, and we're going to use the neural patch to test that flexibility. Stand there. Now we're gonna have him stand out, arms out, go back the exact same way, mark it, go back the other way, mark it, whoa, oh way gosh, further. <laughs> so as you can see there, going that way, his range of motion was much further. But again, as soon as he touched the neural response of the patch, much more range of motion. All right, now we're gonna do the physical endurance test with the Vox Neurotech. So what we're gonna have Jaden do, he's gonna do bicep curls until he can't do another one. So his last rep is gonna go till exhaustion, and then we're gonna have him step forward on the tech and see that instant difference. So go ahead, both arms, both of them at the same time. Yep. So the key here is that it doesn't matter who you are, at some point, you're gonna run out of gas. And so any athlete can do this test, anyone can do this test, but you just do bicep curls until full exhaustion, and we want that last rep to be one that you can't fully do. And then as soon as you step on the technology, the neural insoles will instantly give that signal to the brain that now it gives you a little bit more gas in the tank. Get on, go. Two, three, four. Now get back off and try again. Get back off. Try one more. That's good. So as you can see there, as soon as he spun the technology, he was able to do a little bit more.